the concept behind visual discovery is to use color, linking, selection, and filtering to empower business people to see stories in their data, to explore it, to slice and dice it, to get better fact-based answers to the questions and decisions they need to make. In this case, we're looking at a three-page project or dashboard on commercial customer data. The first page is focused on best customers, the second on campaign results, the third the geographic view. It's a panel on the left that has descriptive text about each page and maybe terms and conditions and might have links and whatnot. Let's hide that. On the right, there's a statistics report that shows them looking at roughly 10,000 customers comprising 500 million in revenue, and they're grouped into roughly 12 industries. The first principle is color. Here we're using color by region. Orange represents the West region, which is 203 million in revenue and roughly 41% of my sales. The purple is the South, the blue the Midwest, and the turquoise the East. Since we use color consistently on all the charts and all the pages, looking at the industry chart, I quickly see I have a skew, more orange, in the finance and insurance, in the lodging and recreation industries. They have representatively more customers in the West region than the other industries. I see in manufacturing there's a big skew of the turquoise, which is the East region, a heavy skew there towards that region. The scatter plot shows those customers a range from low to high revenue and low to high margin. These are my high revenue accounts. These are my high margin accounts. I see quickly that there's a lot of orange over here in my West region. So my West region makes up most of my high revenue accounts but very few of my high margin accounts. Let's switch color for a minute. We can get another insight. I've switched it to the response to my recent promotion. Here orange represents a positive or a yes response. The turquoise represents a non-response. I quickly see that I have higher response rates in the west and the east, the manufacturing industry and the real estate industry. I also see that I have a high concentration of responses in my low margin, low revenue accounts. Very few or none in my high revenue accounts and similarly in my high margin accounts. This is concerning. I'd like to share this insight. I'm going to click on the word export. I'm going to call this response. I'm going to put some concerns here as a comment. I'm going to save this out to my desktop. So I'm working on a web version, but I'm allowed to download and do a report format in a Word doc the charts and the data that's on this page. and, and it, send it out to my teammates. Let's look at the second principle, which is linking. So the charts are linked. If I mouse over one of the customers in the scatter plot, my highest revenue customer, the scatter plot shows me what it is. A brush up comes up. It's linked to the other charts. So I see in the bars, it's the West region in the transportation industry. And down at the bottom in this pane, it shows me the stats on it. Selection means I can, for example, in the bar chart, swipe over the transportation bar which is going to highlight all of the customers in the transportation industry. I see the pattern on the scatter plot. They run pretty much across the board from low to high revenue, a good range, but very tight in margin from zero to roughly 10%. Let's look at the construction industry selection. I see the selection compared to the whole portfolio, a very different pattern. Wide range of margin, but don't really have the high revenue accounts. So the concept of selection, I can see a subset of the population and compare to the whole. Now let's look at filtering. Perhaps I'm the product manager for the uh, construction and the transportation industries. Let's now control click and add in transportation. I've selected two industries. Let's filter down. Exclude the unselected. I filtered down to just those two industries. Now I want to look at campaign results for those two industries. I move to the next page. I quickly see that in those industries, I have 50 accounts that responded yes to my campaigns and they made up 10.2% of all of my accounts. Let's select them and let's filter down on them. So now I have the resulting data uh, where I'm looking at um, over here a number of large accounts where I'm looking at by employees in the orange or the west region and a whole lot of smaller accounts primarily in the turquoise to east region. Back to the first page. I'm showing it here as well. Now I might want to go to the geographical view and see where they are. There's a cluster in the New York area, Newark, and it looks like New York, uh, Brooklyn. Uh, there is a group out here in Kansas City, and there's a few in the Southwest. Maybe I'm the Southwest manager. Let's select those. So now I've grabbed 
on 12 accounts that are in the transportation and the construction industry that responded to my campaign. I want to do follow-up and see what attracted them and maybe discuss what worked and what didn't. So I'll go to the bottom. I want to export this data out. I'm going to now put it on my desktop. And I will now have my sliced list out that my team can respond back on and let's follow up with this group. So in summary, visual discovery uses color, linking, selection, and filtering to allow business people to explore their data, see stories in it in a way that's not possible with tabular or fixed reports, and then slice and dice into it to get answers and results that they can export and take action on. 